Hello, 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 everybody. So my name is Catherine. I am the podcast host of Chakras and Cuss Words. I am also uh, the brand creator of Chakras and Cuss Words, and I am just so happy you are here. If you are listening to the replay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I am talking about the astrology dates for the month of September. We're getting ready to close out this August uh, month and start to dive into September. I'll be honest, like I feel like this transition is going to be a little bit of new and different energy that many of us might not necessarily um, be used to because we've been kind of like on this high functioning um, center. Um, and some of these dates that I'm going to go over with you really explains why this energy is going to be feeling whoops, whoops, is going to be feeling a little different. So I hope you guys can all hear me okay. I'm just trying to pin some links on here. Um, so currently right now, uh, we are in Virgo season and the Virgo season is all about this feminine energy and really about this energy that feels aligned with the feminine. Also the dual modalities of the Virgin, Vir of the Virgin Virgo and also that goddess and maiden energy as well. So this, this transition is really going to start to kind of change a little bit. And I'm going to start to go over the dates. But overall, I feel like this month is more about releasing. September is more about releasing and having a calmness and a slower pace and really feeling fulfilled in the here, in the now area, not necessarily the area of creating massive intentions or creating that space of um, wanting to um, manifest extremely high. It's definitely going to be an area where we can create intentions and we can create um, manifestations, but we want to do it at a slower pace. We want to do it at more a daily pace. And also we want to do it in a area where it doesn't feel as electrifying as the seasons and the months that we are just passing through. For instance, we're switching from Virgo season to Libra season where they have different traits. They have different areas of that space. And I will talk about the Libra when we get closer to Libra season and what the Libra really means. But this September is a little bit more about balance. And in that area, I will start to go over the dates that I feel are important. If you are very um, in tune to astrology and would like to um, share a question or um, raise your hand, I will bring you up after I go through the dates. Um, I just want to let you know that this is a recording and will be played on Chakras and Cuss Words podcast as a live stream. If some of you guys would like to drop your Zodiacs in the room chat, go ahead and I will let you know what dates I feel your Zodiac should really look out for and what energy of those dates um, might be sent Entered with you a little bit more than um, somebody else because of your zodiac sign. So the first date that I really want to talk about is September 2nd, which um, is actually this Friday. And what we have is Mercury in Libra, opposition Jupiter and Aries. And this is going to be a time where we're not going to want to take things too personally. We're actually going to want to be more centered in our space of thoughts, of clarity. And we want to like release that space of energy where maybe we're feeling like the analyzation and the balance is feeling unfair. When we have Jupiter 
opposing um, Mercury, we might also see some areas of dynamic where we kind of have like bloopers in the way that we um, are expressing ourselves. Maybe we're being too assertive. Maybe we're being too aggressive and we kind of need to let that energy go. Also, it is a time that we might really be centered in our area of grief and sadness or reflecting on areas that didn't necessarily feel so enlightened or high vibration type of energy. And we might kind of be feeling us like thinking about how come something didn't work out. How come I just haven't been feeling so lucky? What is going on? So be mindful on September 2nd. Don't take it personal. Don't overanalyze it. Let it go. For September 4th, we have Venus enters Virgo. Venus enters Virgo is actually an amazing time to really look at the relationships and also look at the wealth department in areas of investments. It's also a time to really kind of build a standard aspect on the two fronts. So for instance, if you have been looking like you aren't really sure how to invest your money. You aren't really sure how to um, center your relationship. This is actually going to be a time that you do an analyzation of both, especially in the relationship house and especially especially in the financial house. You're going to want to look at it and look at it at a way where you have a more strategy and also a analyzation. This is also a good time to make sure that you are feeling centered in the area of your love house. If you are feeling like maybe the relationship has taken a turn that you didn't see coming and you want to start to repair, this would be that time that you start to structure your apologies, you start to structure your area of moving to a different step of the relationship. On um, September 6th, we have Pallas enters Cancer, which is the asteroid, Noah Pallas, the Athena goddess. Um, this is a transition that we're going to want to be able to seek further wisdom. We're going to want to look at this area of seeking through the ancestors. If this means becoming aligned in meditation, um, where you are seeking messages through the ancestral space, through the area of um, of the past, learning about your culture, learning about historians who have set the pavement before you, who have set the path before you, who have kind of created this um, this lineage of ancestral history. This is a time to step into it. It's also a time to embrace the emotions and the thoughts that you have possibly been feeling with the family history, with the ancestral history of the family, especially during this time. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, we are going to automatically go into uh, Mercury retrograde right at the end of the first week of um, September. We have Mercury retrograde hitting Libra season. So for many of the, us and um, for those who know me, I do do predictions um, and I will say a few predictions right here, right now. So this Mercury retrograde is definitely going to bring that area of emotions, confusion, and also areas of unbalance, especially in the, the relationship house, also with the work-life balance, and also with that area of space of trying to have it all. We're going to have to do a area where we understand that we can't always put so much on our plate and expect it to be um, 
expect it to be successful, right? So we're going to have to kind of value and balance what really works for us, especially in the area of desires. Also, this is a perfect time not to get caught up in your spending. So please be cautious spending money during this time. We want it to balance. We don't want to become deficient in um, in our areas of wealth and and also in the negative areas of money. So be efficient, have a balance, make sure you check your checking account. Um, and the reason why is because this energy of the slower place might set us off on our investments and set us off where we have that urge to kind of seek um, something that right now is at a standstill, something that is right now not letting us seek it as easy. I do expect that there is going to be some type of controversy, especially with social media, um, especially with uh, areas of relationships. I'm sure there's probably going to be a celebrity relationship that is going to uh, either have a big demise or um, something very controversial that's going to happen on the social aspect, especially with that Libra energy in the love house. Also, um, on September 10th, we have a full moon in Pisces. So we have basically two energy moments that are kind of taking us um, by by a big grasp right away in the month of September. And this is why I'm saying a lot of people should be very mindful in the way that they are structured around their energy during this time. The full moon in Pisces is really going to kind of give us that little bit of higher frequency. It is the Pisces, which is the 12th house ruler, which is all about centered in our spiritual aspects and spiritual um, being and our higher self. We want to have control of the situation, but we don't want to be in a naive bliss. We also want to have a positive impact in this full moon where we can create an area of space of balance towards the release and also towards the energy. This is a perfect time to accept that we can't control everything. We can't control everything, but we can balance it to the best of our ability. Also, this energy is a perfect time to be structured around your dreams and to be around your center of space. That is really in that area where you can create a balance and you can create a shift. Also, we have um, September 16th, Sun in Virgo, Opposition, Neptune in Pisces. This is going to be a day we're going to want to reserve our energy. We're really going to want to find that place of relaxing and creating intentions towards rather not taking many shifts of energy that seems like an outburst, but more of creating something that is on a slower pace. So if that is maybe creating a painting, that isn't so um, vibrant and so high, but maybe creations that are towards more of a slower pace. And like I said before, this is definitely a transition of, um, of energy, which is going to feel a little slower. We aren't living in the solar plex right now, right? We're not living in that willpower energy of the sun with Leo. We're li living in a more mercury-based energy, which is more structured around communication, analyzation. Also, um, another day that I want to talk about is September 22nd, which the sun enters Libra. So we are going to have our shift of sun enters Libra, and this is also going to be the first day of the fall equinox. This day is a beautiful day of balance and harmony, and it's kind of like the effect of where we've been working up to, right? Where we've been centering our energy towards has kind of really manifested to this day. 
This is the day where we're going to really want to bring peace to the fact that, yeah, we've maybe made some mistakes, especially with this Mercury retrograde energy. Yeah, maybe there's been some transitions that we haven't been fully aligned with. Maybe we just need to let some shit go. We just need to let that space go. And we need to really kind of own up to it that it's okay to be in a harmony that feels a little bit less so burstful, right? It doesn't feel so strong. It's okay to be at a peaceful place. It's okay to be at a place of peace. And it is okay to be at a place of calm. We don't have to always be creating. We don't have to always be setting intentions. We don't have to always be manifesting. We can just hold this energy towards balance and hold this space where it just feels okay in our current stature. So with this energy, really just have grace with yourself as it enters the Libra season. If you've had to say goodbye to certain relationships, goodbye to certain strategies, goodbye to certain spaces, friendships, through this time, just let you know that the soul is seeking that balance and it's okay to release. Also on September 23rd, the following day, Mercury is still in retrograde. It will be in retrograde for up to three weeks, but now it is going to shift to Virgo. And as Mercury started with Libra, it was a different dynamic. It was a dynamic of more of that balance and that that area of release and flaws and mistakes. But as it moves to Virgo, the energy is going to be shifting where it's almost going to feel a more root based. It's going to feel a little bit more personal. So when this happens, just try to find your grounding space, especially with your root chakra. I will go over the chakras that I feel that everybody should be concentrating on during this time. This is definitely a time that we might be centered on our flaws more than our positivity, where maybe we feel that our god or goddess energy is kind of seeping away, right? It's like leaving us at the seams. It's it's um, not really, we're not feeling so aligned in our confidence. And just be knowledgeable that this space will pass. It also is a perfect time not to be centered on perfection, to learn about everything that makes you who you are, even if it is an area of somewhat dysfunction or a flaw or a transit that isn't considered a positive space. It isn't considered that high frequency moment. It isn't considered that high vibrational moment of energy. So be mindful that we don't need to be perfect. We don't need to be the center of perfection for this area in ourself, in our innocence of ourselves is really a space that we could live in. So make sure you are doing grounding and especially seeking refuge in the root chakra. On September 25th, we have um, new moon in Libra, and this, a lot of people like to set intentions towards the new moon or the full moon, but this is actually a perfect time for you to just live in the reset, in the release, and a little bit of reflection. But you don't want to do it to a space where you are feeling so centered in what's new. 
there is possibility of new relationships. There is possibility of new starts and new intentions. I know some people will say not to manifest or create intentions towards a, a retrograde. Um, everybody who knows me knows you can set intentions towards a retrograde. Yes, you should be mindful of contracts. Yes, you should be mindful of investing. Yes, you should be mindful for what you post on social media because all that during a retrograde can sometimes return in not a positive way. So just be mindful of that, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's if it's created during a retrograde that it's going to be a loss. Many times there are areas of space that have happened during a retrograde, which has been very successful. There has been weddings that have been successful during a retrograde. There has been marriages that continued that were married during a retrograde. Not everything that happens during a retrograde is going to set you back. It may be at a slower pace. It may be at a clearer spot. It may have its bloopers, but remember, we are not focused on perfection. But this is a good time for you to really just look at that area of reset. And for the rest of the astrology for the month, we have on September 29th, Venus enters Libra. And this is a transition that's really going to take our relationships to that space of balance. This is going to be the time that we become assertive and, and more mindful in the balance and the equality of the relationship. If we're feeling heard, if we are hearing others, if we are listening to others, if we are speaking to others in a well-balanced space, this is going to be the time that we really look at that. And we are really gentle with each other. We, if we want the relationship to continue, this is definitely going to be that time that we hold that space towards the relationship where we hold that uh, love energy and desires towards the relationship. So don't feel like the relationship is um, something that you should give up on, right? Especially if the relationship has been having problems. Um, definitely look at that area of balance, especially towards September 29th. Also towards September 9th, at the same time, we have the Asteroids series enters Virgo, which is a very nourishing and feminine energy. It is also structured on fertility. So for what possibly may have seemed like something that wasn't going to grow can possibly heal and actually repair. So just please be mindful of that, especially if you are centered in something that needs to have some healing and needs to have some repairing that wait till the end of the month and then give it another analyzation or balance. You don't have to um, throw it away or you don't have to give up on it quite yet. You don't have to walk away from something that your heart still desires. Give it till at least the end of the month and see how that energy and transition with the cosmos plays out for you. And I see somebody said that they are an Aquarius um, that is an amazing, amazing um, zodiac right now to be in. Of course, the Aquarius is not hit with some high energy like the other zodiacs at that time. But the Aquarius, as we are living in age of the Aquarius, this is a time for you to really have this peace and harmony to yourself and find that balance and release especially right now. I want to read to you the astrology that um, I have wrote. Um, it's on my Instagram if you want to save it. So 
the astrology feels like to me a vision of balance and release. This energy is focused on love and desire and sounds of creation um, to bring an alignment of slow and graceful movement. You may have to show and slow down. This month of September is really about slowing down, everybody. Let's move with the flow of the wind and look at the sun for mementos of light. Look at the moon for the reflection. Also sit still in your presence of your focus within your inner star. We have a lot of cosmic areas of asteroids right now in the month of September, which are all related to goddesses of the past. Also, um, this is a time to release the fear of failures, um, releasing it not to be structured on so much reflection, but so many of us have failed at areas, have failed at spaces, or have walked away from spaces. That is something that happens and it teaches us and we move forward. So also, um, September slowly lets us find our peace and it lets us find that energy to forgive our own mistakes. So it is really a balance of earth, water, and air, which lets us know that this energy is for the fire to rest. Also for September, the chakra that you want to be focused on are your root chakra, your sacral chakra, and your heart chakra. The key zodiacs for this month are the Virgo, the Libra, the Cancer, the Gemini, and the Pisces. So I want to thank everybody who came in. And we have a Gemini. <laughs> Yes. So for the Gemini, I will say um, definitely with the Mercury retrograde as it's uh, with Virgo, just really be mindful of the communications, especially for the Gemini. Um, you know, you might kind of feel a little bit um, overly assertive with the communication style in the beginning and especially with the retrograde so just be mindful of that um and i'm just very happy that you guys are all here and um please you can um subscribe to chakras and cuss words podcast and um if you want you can follow me on instagram i put the um the the graphics up for you to save it for the month of what chakras to pay attention to for september and i usually post a lot about um astrology on there so everybody have an amazing day and i'm excited for this month of september i think a lot of us need this relaxation and this release and this slower pace energy even though it is retrograde season is back but yeah so everybody have an amazing day bye